This is the golden story book and tape called Garfield the Fussy Cat. Garfield was created by Jim Davis, and the story was written by Norma Simone. Whenever you hear this sound, you'll know that it's time to turn the page. Now, let's begin the story. One sunny day, Garfield sat in the window, looking at the world outside. He saw bees gathering nectar from the flowers. He saw birds building a nest. He saw squirrels chasing each other through the trees. It's a pretty day, Garfield thought. He yawned. <sighs> pretty boring, that is. How can I beat this boredom? Garfield asked himself. I know. I'll tie Odie's ears in a knot. So, Garfield tied Odie's ears in a knot. But it wasn't much fun, because Odie was too dumb even to notice. Dumb dog, dumb day, said Garfield. John, I need some excitement in my life, said Garfield. John Arbuckle looked up from his newspaper. Listen to this, Garfield, he said. Fussy Cat brand cat food is looking for a cat to star in a TV commercial. They're holding auditions today. How terribly uninteresting, said Garfield. The cat they choose gets a year's supply of Fussy Cat brand cat food, said John. I'd rather have lasagna, said Garfield. Plus a year-long all-expense-paid trip around the world, said John. A trip around the world. That's the kind of excitement I need. Let's go, Garfield said, dragging John toward the door. Garfield and John went to the TV studio. We're here to audition for the Fussy Cat commercial, John told the secretary. Tell the Fussy Cat people that their new star has arrived, said Garfield. Get in line, said the secretary. There must have been a hundred owners and their cats waiting to audition for the commercial. Garfield and John were at the end of the line. A star like me should not have to wait, said Garfield. So Garfield thought of a great trick. He leaned over to the cat next to him. Say, did you hear about that accident over on Main Street? Said Garfield loudly. A truck full of fresh fish and a truck full of cream both flipped over. Main Street is one gigantic lunch. With that, at least fifty cats leapt from their owners' arms and raced out the door toward Main Street. The surprised owners raced after them. What's going on? Said John. Guess they were afraid to face the camera. Said Garfield with a smile. An assistant director asked John some questions. Does your cat have any special talents? He asked. Just eating and sleeping, said John. Oh, and he does a great imitation of an orange beach ball. <laughs> he added, laughing. Remind me to shred your favorite chair when we get home. Garfield said to John. Finally, there was just one more cat ahead of Garfield. Garfield watched him audition. In front of the camera was a bowl of Fussy Cat brand cat food. Beside the bowl was a big bag filled with more Fussy Cat brand cat food. The cat walked up to the bowl, smiled at the camera, and began to eat neat little mouthfuls. Garfield jumped from John's arms and raced onto the stage. This commercial isn't big enough for both of us, said Garfield, bumping the other cat aside. Garfield flashed the director a big smile. You want a cat who can eat? Garfield asked. I'll show you a cat who can eat. Garfield picked up the bowl of Fussy Cat brand cat food, flipped the food into his mouth, and swallowed it in one gulp. Amazing! Said the director. But Garfield didn't stop there. He ripped open the big bag of Fussy Cat brand cat food and began pouring the food into his mouth. In an instant, he had finished the entire bag. Incredible! Shouted the director. We found our fussy cat. <laughs> said Garfield. The director planned to shoot the commercial that very afternoon. There was a lot of preparation to do. First, he brought in a hairdresser for Garfield. Just to trim off the tummy, 
said Garfield. At the same time, a manicurist filed and polished Garfield's claws. Then, the wardrobe people brushed Garfield's fur until it was smooth and shiny. Garfield purred happily. This is the life, thought Garfield. The bright lights, the cameras, the excitement. I was born to be a star. This is great, Garfield, said John. Thanks to you, we'll soon be off on a year-long trip around the world. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Arbuckle, said the director. Only Garfield will be going on our world tour, but we do have a nice Fussy Cat brand cat food calendar for you. Gee, thanks, said John sadly. I'll send you a postcard, said Garfield. Now Garfield was having second thoughts about his new exciting life. He hadn't counted on being apart from John and Odie for a whole year. He thought of all the dumb things Odie would do in a year, and all the dumb things John would say. Garfield would miss all that. It's tough being a star, said Garfield. Fortunately, I'm big enough to handle it. It was time to start filming. Here's all your cat has to do. The director said to John. He goes to the bowl marked Brand X, sniffs it, and walks away. He does the same thing with the bowl marked Brand Y. But when he comes to the bowl marked Fussy Cat, he gobbles it down. Any questions? <sighs> when do I get my nap break? Said Garfield with a yawn. Places, everybody," said the director. And action! Garfield walked up to the Brand X cat food. He sniffed it and walked away. Good, good," said the director. Then Garfield sniffed the Brand Y cat food and walked away. Excellent, excellent," said the director. Finally, Garfield came to the Fussy Cat brand cat food. He sniffed it carefully. He leaned closer to the bowl. He opened his mouth. That's it. That's it," said the director. Suddenly, Garfield felt very full and very sleepy. I think I overdid my audition," he said. And with that, he fell fast asleep, face down in the food. Cut! Cut! Yelled the director. That night, John fixed Garfield a special lasagna dinner. You know, Garfield said, "John, I'm glad you didn't make that commercial. Odie and I would have missed you." <laughs> said Odie in agreement. I guess the part wasn't right for me," said Garfield. But he didn't really mind not being the star of a commercial. After all. He said, "I'll always be the biggest star in this house."